Back now on Try Today, and always glad when we can spend a few minutes with the good folks from GTCC. And I've been hearing a lot about something called the Career in College Promise, and I want to find out about that. So, because I do, you know, I'm pretty smart sometimes, and I said, well, how am I going to find out about it? I'm going to go to the expert, and she happens to be here with us right now. Linda Whitlow is Director of the K-12 Partnerships for GTCC. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right, let's talk about this Career in College Promise uh, program. Uh, tell folks uh, what that's all about. What does it mean? Okay. So Career and College Promise is North Carolina's um, program for dual enrollment. Um, one of the ben benefits of the program is students have an opportunity to try on college early while they still have the support of their parents, their high school counselors, and their principal. Um, they also get to see what um, experience that academic rigor of what a college class is like. Do you like. mean if I'm a senior or something in high school, I can be going and taking classes at uh, GTCC? I mean, Definitely. We've got over 1,600 high school students taking college classes at Guilford Tech this semester. Wow. Um, the program is for juniors and seniors in high school. The tuition is waived for them, so they only pay for their fees and books. That could, well, that's kind of a leg up on, on your higher education right there, isn't it? Exactly, it is. They end up saving a bunch of mon money as well as time. Um, now, is there a, a fee for this for the, the high school juniors and seniors who want to take advantage of this? Is there a fee involved? I know you said that you weigh the tuition, but is there any other costs involved? Or? Yeah, the students are responsible for paying for their fees. So if they're a part-time student, it's about $53. If they're a full-time student, it's about $98. And then they are responsible for paying for their books. Let me pick at you for a second. I know you said it's for high school juniors and seniors, you know, who have that drive that want to, yeah, I want to try this out. This is great. Right. But now you can't just get flooded with every high school junior and senior. I mean, how do you know who's qualified, who's going to do it? How do you decide? So students need to have an unweighted GPA of 2.8 or higher. And they're also, um, they're getting the recommendation of their high school counselor or principal to participate in the program. So they need to have been doing pretty well in their high school classes. Yeah, and so you can use the high school counselor as sort of a referral point to make sure we're, we're getting folks that really want to be there. Yes, definitely. Uh, all right, now, there's, as I understand it, you sent me an email one day that said there's two different pathways for students to follow through this program. Right. One is college transfer. One is career technical education. Comment on each of those. Let's start with college transfer. What do you mean? Okay. So with the college transfer pathways, it includes um, classes that are guaranteed to transfer to all of the state universities in North Carolina. So it's going to be like your English, your math, um, your social sciences like sociology, psychology, the classes that you're going to have to need or you're going to have to have whether you're transferring or whether you're going to get it to your technical degree. You still have general education courses. Right. Can I come in and say, hey, my goal is uh, I want to go to UNCG and I want to be a history professor someday where well, you're going to know from there you know what path to, to put the this uh, person on right career technical education path yes so that those pathways allow the students to get some hands-on experience in a technical field they can come in and try out aviation welding automotive um, got lots of information tech pathways, um, fire protection. There's lots of different opportunities. They, so they come in and they get to kind of see what it's like while they're still in high school. And on that career path, I know that you guys do a great job in trying to adapt curriculum from time to time for area business and industry because you keep a lookout for what people really need in terms of who they need to hire, right? Right, exactly. Uh, now, when should uh, juniors and seniors apply for that? Is there a time frame or what? There is. We're accepting applications now. Um, the priority deadline is actually March 15th. Um, by if, if students have their applications in by that deadline, they get to register early for their classes. I want to get. I want to go a little over on this. I want to get a plug in for something. Thursday, February seventeenth at six p.m. I understand you're hosting an event. It's like an information session. What's going to go on there? Yeah, during that information session, I will um, tell the parents and students about the program. We'll go over the pathways, um, and I'll also answer lots of questions from both parents and students. Just like you answered my question. Yes, definitely. So say that you can. But there's so much more you can find out. So folks need to go to this on February 17th. That's at 6 p.m. Uh, now, for general information, though, up on screen is the website gtcc.edu, which has a lot of good information about all the different course offerings and, and everything. But uh, Linda, I appreciate what you're doing for the kids. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to share the information. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.